Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing this Tomica set which is the Lamborghini 25th anniversary in yellow and this time it comes with a Lamborghini transporter both of which roll really well. Now this one doesn't have any special features, it's just the yellow version of the red version which I have previously reviewed and this is the new vehicle I guess it's really heavy, this cab and the bed is all metal. This part is plastic. And it's got this really easy to use drop down function where the car can come out. You can store it in here. And it fits quite well. Like it's not too deep that your fingers can't reach. Just maybe a couple of centimeters in. And then it should be smoothly roll out really nice so there we go let's take a look at the packaging and at the cars up close in detail take a quick look at this packaging so it's just a big box the 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach inside a transporter ABS plastic, good strong plastic. If you want to have a look at that in Japanese about the product, there you go. Uh, there's the cover, and let's just get this open and take a look inside. So here we have, I think it's 164 scale. Comes just a bigger version of the Tonica box. It's pretty heavy, I have to say. This whole cab is metal, and um, the bed is as well, but this bit is plastic. But yeah, damn, it's still really heavy. I guess it's a bit, looks a bit thicker as well. So, there's no branding, it's just your generic transporter van um, it could be an Isuzu um, okay so and then here's the back oh look at that it's got a really nice plastic catch so put it down it clicks just like that really nice really smooth and inside it's like another Tomica box inside and here we have the special yellow version of the Lamborghini Countach so I will review both let's have a look at the transporter first so up close here we have these gold rimmed wheels and you can tell by the shiny gloss black, this part is all metal, this bed, and including the cab. And where it kind of becomes this duller black, this is the plastic section. So, really generic silver lights painted on, nothing too special about it. But it does seem to be at an accurate scale because those seats are massive. And we can look inside here. Oh, steering wheels on this side. It's just a very generic one. Um, let's have a look. The, here's the steering wheel and the gear stick is just a knob in the middle. Also in shiny plastic. <clears throat> Got this ribbed section at the top. And we've even got a cut out here. There's plastic section here as well so yeah really really heavy at the front and the back it's got your Lamborghini logo here and this is the mechanism inside so inside there's nothing much there it's just plastic all the way down nothing spectacular and it's got a top section 
clicks very nicely and smoothly into place. I'll do a rolling when I do the 360, but yeah, it rolls very well, really heavy. Okay, now on to the Lamborghini. So it's just basically the yellow version of the red version, which I have previously reviewed. Comes with the same features. It's got opening part at the back so we can see the engine, if that's possible. Nothing much there really, just a couple of coils I guess. And um, not really detailed at all, but I don't think the other one, the red one was either. So we can zoom in, we can see on the side, really small tempo. Let's try and get this. I'm not quite sure what that says. That's a bit too close, there we go. So, so tiny, not particularly legible, but it's there, um, and it's in scale, so that's probably why it's so tiny. Okay, so the rims, got like a five spoke. What's that there, is that paint? Yeah, it's a bit of paint, just a bit of smudge. Don't wanna scrape it off and then it's the paint comes off, so. This part is all metal. Normally, like on the modern Hot Wheels, this bottom bit becomes plastic and then just the top is metal, but I like that they've kept it for this Tomica all in metal. So, you can have a look up close at these lights. Plastic insert with the circles. I, mm, I like plastic inserts, but I don't like it when they have this kind of eyes look, like a cartoon cars look. Anyway, it's not too bad here. And then on the side, you can see the silhouette like that. And we've got these air intakes here. And this is the one, this 25th anniversary one was designed by Pagani, who later went on to, you know, set up his own company. But this is where some of his style choices came through his design style and then you can see that you know took off the spoiler added these big box intakes here on the side and changed a few details at the front and really brought it into you know its final iteration as this kind of 80s supercar and it went on to about an early 92 I think and that was it but that was the end of an era that this car launched and if you see my previous Countach videos Countach, one of my absolute favourite vehicles for the context of the time when it was launched. Obviously today we've got lots of you know futuristic looking cars and there's not so much a strong design trend <clears throat> like there was, like you've got in you know previous decades, you have like wedge shaped cars, then you have like boxy cars, things like that. But yeah, today, because of the way the world has changed, we don't really get strong trains like that anymore we get people doing all sorts now so from a different age and so there we have it um, from the roof really nice vehicle I also have the Dome Zero which this reminds me of but this is the one that became super popular instead. So there we go. Let's zoom in on the back now. Four exhausts. Um, got some Lamborghini. Got the Lamborghini Bull here, I think. And let me see. Sometimes the even if they've got a tampo on, it's actually not always. Um, it's not always clear because the scale of it is so small. There we go. So you can see that up close. Paint job's pretty good. Um, four exhausts are all there. Moving parts. Is there suspension? 
I don't think there's suspension on this model. No, there's zero suspension on this model. This part is plastic. You can see it wraps around and it's painted and you can tell the way that the paint changes from material to material. So metal is shinier, plastic is duller in appearance. So there we go. Okay, let's get this on the 360. Let's take a look at this from all angles. So we've got the transporter, which is pretty cool, quite heavy. And we've got the vehicle itself. And there was a theme of these. There were some other cars that Tomica did in a two pack like this. Some people just bought this for the yellow Lamborghini. Uh, some people wanted to call the transporter to display the rest of their cars. But either way, both vehicles look fantastic. Really well at that budget. I think they look great together too. I think it's really, especially for kids, you know, this is really fun. You know, you can put the cars in, you can transport them, you can move them around. Really good playset. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do like and subscribe to this channel if you're into diecast cars and transformers. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Take care.